everybody. My name is KG. You're watching K in Kansas. And I just wanted to share with you before I start, look, I dyed my hair with the help of my husband and it actually doesn't look bad except for one spot. I'm going to show you right there. You can see it. It looks like a really bad hair day. Anyways, nothing that a flip won't fix. Uh, today we are going to be talking about the ruggable rug head and bought one. Why did we buy one? Because of the hype. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks amazing on the advertising and I wanted to see it for myself. So here we go. Our experience was that my husband ordered it online and I know I hate paying full price. So we found a 15% discount coupon. And this is how it came in the mail. It was really, really dirty, but everything inside was intact. So while we were waiting for our ruggable rug, we were too excited that we were stalking the website for videos and any instructions of how to set up your rug. So when it came in the mail, we actually had an idea of how to set it up. If you are not familiar with a ruggable rug, it comes in two pieces. The first piece is actually the rubber mat that stays flat on the ground. And the second piece is the actual rug that goes on top of the mat. So the crazy thing is when you put the rug on top of the rubber mat, it acts like a Velcro and it sticks to it. Really, really good that adjusting it if you don't put it down right the first time is very, very hard. So here's the fun part. Unroll the whole thing out. And you want to work on the rug first, but of course my husband didn't want to listen to me. So I was waiting very patiently for a little bit until I got his attention. So you'll want to unroll the rug and lay it down super, super flat. The second thing you'll want to do is to roll it in so the design is inside. So this is where I actually messed up because I was like, I thought I could just roll it and it will work. But actually, if you don't roll it properly, when you unroll it, like I said in the beginning, it uh, acts as a Velcro on top of the rubber mat. So it will have creases. So make sure that you don't make the same mistake as I did and roll it in tight and nice. It's basically the same thing as you lay down the rubber mat. Make sure that you lay it down nice and flat without creases and put it exactly where you want it because adjusting it later will be horrible. Let's switch gears here for a second. I want to talk about the reviews that people are giving this rug. When we went and looked around for reviews, we actually found out that it was rated 4.6 stars out of 5 stars, which is pretty high. And this is about three to 4,000 people reviewing the rug. We also ended up buying an 8x10 and we paid a little bit below $400 with a 15% discount, which I think was super pricey because like I said, I do not like paying for expensive things unless I know it will be an investment. So going back to the setup, this is where we messed up. Like I said, if you don't roll it right the first time, you will have problems with creases. So in this video, we are trying to roll it again the proper way so the edges are all even and flushed. Okay, so now that you have it rolled nicely, you'll want to have an overhang over the edges before you unroll it. And it's actually 
quite easy. It's just you have to follow the rules very, very precisely for it to come out really, really good. Pro tip, you're gonna see little corner pockets on the rubber mat and you do not want to place the rug inside that corner pocket. My first impression on rolling it was it was really thin, it was not fluffy at all. Is this worth it? I don't know yet, but yes. It felt like an outdoor rug, if that makes sense, because of how thin it is. And um, I read it, it's, it's an indoor-outdoor rug, so you can use it outside and inside. The nice thing about it is it, it's UV resistant, so it won't fade if you leave it out in the sun. Overall, I think it's a really good investment if you want to call it that just because it's so expensive. There are tons of designs to choose from, which is amazing. But yes, is it worth it? I think it is worth it. Um, let me update you again in about three to six months to see how well it does after several washes. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ring that bell, please. Please. I mean, really, please. Anyways, have a good day, folks. Bye-bye.